Hello and welcome back to Stacio Designs. Thank you for joining me at my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to do a peekaboo t-shirt. So a peekaboo is like this. So if you could see part of it is ripped and I have this little image of this scary Halloween zombie peeking through the shirt. So today I'm going to show you how I made this. So this is a peekaboo Harley t-shirt and I have been doing them on bleached or tie dyed t-shirts. You don't have to do it on that. So you can do it any way that you'd like and I'm gonna show you how I made this shirt. Here we go. Step one is to find your placement. Here I am measuring about three inches down from the collar, but you have to allow about a half an inch all the way around to apply your glue. I'm making some marks here with a dry erase marker to give me a guide for the width and height of where to cut. You'll need to place something inside of the shirt so you don't cut all the way through. I have an old Cricut mat that I use for that. Step two is to draw out your cut lines. I've created six lines here to cut. You can do it freehand I use this T to make sure I have perfectly straight lines across. But once you actually cut and move the fabric around, it's pretty forgiving. I use a rotary cutter to do this. It's specifically made to cut fabric without fraying but if you didn't want to buy a new tool, you could probably do this with a very sharp straight edge razor. Next, pull all your strips a little bit just to give you that curled edge look and make sure that all your pieces are separated. And now you're ready to create your design for the inside. Step three, I printed this sublimation as nine and a half by 10. I used my Epson 7720 with Hippo inks and Crafting Besties paper. I'm just trimming around the edges so I can adjust my placement onto the fabric when I press it. Here I'm pressing on some white high poly count fabric that I got from Joann's. Again, I'm going to use my rotary tool to cut a piece to size, but you can definitely just use your scissors for this step. You could also cut after pressing as well. It's really just preference.
And here is the piece to cut out. I also like to double check the size as compared to my shirt, just to make sure I have enough overhang to adhere it properly with the glue. And it looks like there's plenty of space and I'm good to go. So moving on to the next step, I'm going to turn on my heat press and I'll be ready to sublimate my image. Step four. So here we are, ready to press the image. I always lint roll my items before pressing to remove any dust because if you press with dust on it, you'll wind up with little blue dust spots. So first I'm pre-pressing my fabric to remove any wrinkles or moisture. Now placing my sublimation image right on top, lining up the transfer and the fabric. And I'm just gonna secure it down with some heat tape just so it doesn't move around. I'm pressing at 395 Fahrenheit for 55 seconds. Okay, let's see how this came out. Yes, this looks this looks great. Beautiful, vibrant colors and a full print to the edge. Okay, looks great. Now, moving on to step five. I'm gonna go grab the shirt. Okay, step five. This is the fun part. You have your cut-up shirt. Now turn it inside out and lay it back down, flatten it out. Unroll the strips, specifically the ones at the very top and the very bottom, so that you have, you have it very flat for your image to go onto. Okay, so here's the fabric, and place it face down, because our shirt's inside out, so place it face down, smooth everything down, make sure there's no bubbles, double check your placement, your alignment, that you have enough border for the glue, and I have plenty of room here. So I've seen people use heat bond for this next step, but I found that heat bond really doesn't withstand washings. It's really made to adhere fabric together and then be sewn. So I found this Tulip brand fabric glue that's working really great for me. It's easy to use and washable, I'm just squeezing a small amount around the edges and then I go in with a popsicle stick just to spread that glue around so I don't have any like big gloppy sections that might squeeze out. So I'm going to let this dry about 15-20 minutes and then add some pressure with my absolutely cold press. 
It's just to add pressure, and I happen to have a press, so I'm using it for this. Um, I leave this here for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna let this shirt sit for three days. It takes about three days for this glue to fully cure, and then it's ready to be worn. So here's the final product. I hope you like this, and I hope it helped you out and gave you some creative ideas for a peekaboo shirt to create. Okay, happy crafting, guys.